A very good morning children. In English, in the first chapter, we learned the story of Joe the baby caterpillar. Last class, we learned, we did the exercise and we learned common noun and proper noun. So today we are going to learn about punctuation. So what is punctuation? So before that, first learn what is a sentence. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words which makes sense. That is a group of words that should have a meaning. Here you can see caterpillar, Joe, the baby. Words are there. But is there any meaning for that sentence? Let's rearrange the words and see. Joe, the baby caterpillar. Now the sentence has got a meaning. So a group of words that should have a meaning. Only then it becomes a sentence. Now here we have cat, milk, drinks. Is that a sense? No, doesn't have a sense. That is, it doesn't have any meaning. Let's rearrange the words. Cat drinks milk. Now there is a meaning and now we can say that it's a sentence. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. That is the first letter in the sentence should begin with a capital letter and after that, after finishing the sentence, you have to put a full stop. That is a dot there. That is, it should be understood that the sentence is over when the full stop is put over there. Here you can see, I am very sleepy. In this sentence, I is a small letter. So what we have to do? We have to write I capital letter to make it a proper sentence. I am very sleepy and a full stop over there. It becomes a sentence. Here Joe was tired. So which is the first letter? J. The first word is Joe and the first letter is J. We have to write J in capital letter. Joe was tired and put a full stop there. Then it becomes a sentence. We have already learnt what a proper noun is. It refers particular to a person or place. Here proper noun always begins with a capital letter. If a proper noun even if it comes in, be in between the sentence, we have to write it in a capital letter. For example, I live in Kanyarapalli. Kanyarapalli is a place, it's a proper noun. So what we have to do? K we have to write capital letter. But Kanyarapalli doesn't come in front of the sentence. It comes in between the sentence. Then also we have to write the first letter in capital letter. So, I live in Kanyarapalli. Second sentence, my father works in Mumbai. Here the first word is my. And see how the letter is written? M is a small letter. What we have to do? We have to write M capital letter. My father works in Mumbai is a place. So that M also we have to write in capital letter. So my father works in Mumbai. This is how we rewrite the sentence to make it a proper sentence. So now you can take page number 9 in your English textbook and your notebook also you can keep it with you. Here you have rewrite using capital letters and full stops. So that question, write it down in your notebook and you can rewrite there. I'll read out the questions. The lion is the king of the forest. Second, I like to drink milk. Third question, she found a red crayon. Fourth one, Ankit has a pet dog. Fifth, my doll's name is Rinku. Sixth, Mohit went to the market. So these are the six questions. Hope you are able to do it. After doing it, we will discuss the answers. You can pause the video. Once you have done, come back. So now let's discuss the answers. The first question, the lion is the king of the forest. In this first word, the and the first letter, T. So we have to write T, capital letter. The lion is the king of the forest and put a full stop at the end. Second. I like to drink milk. I is a small letter here. We have to write I in capital letter. I like to drink milk. After milk, put a full stop. Third question, she found a red crayon. 
which is the first word it is she and what is the first letter s so we have to write s in capital letter she found a red crayon after crayon we need to put a full stop fourth one ankit has a pet dog so ankit a write a in capital letter ankit has a pet dog after dog you have to put a full stop fifth question my doll's name is rinku rinku is a proper noun so what we have to do that r the first letter of rinku r we need to write in capital letter my m capital letter my doll's name is rinku full stop after rinku sixth one mohit went to the market mohit is a name and this is the first word and first letter m m should be written in capital letter mohit went to the market so after that we need to put a full stop with this we finish of punctuation let's move on to the writing look at the picture complete the passage using words from the box so words are given in the box and you can see a picture over there we have to fill in the blanks there in the box the words be shining lovely butterflies and happy are given let's look at the picture you can see a girl butterflies sun and it's a beautiful garden so now let's fill in the blanks it is a dash day you have to find out the appropriate word that is given in the box and then write it down there the sun is dash the flowers are blooming there are many dash flying there is a dash too the girl is feeling dash so find out the correct words from the box pause the video and you can do it once you have done come back now i hope you have done it now let's read out the answers it is a lovely day the sun is shining the flowers are blooming there are many butterflies flying there is a bee too the girl is feeling happy so hope your answers are correct now let's move on to the page number 10 it's an activity for you to do it's how to make a caterpillar in the story we read about a caterpillar now let us make a caterpillar we are going to make a caterpillar so let's check what all we need for that an egg carton a paint brush a pair of scissors a black sketch pen green water color two small math sticks a sharp pencil so these are the things that you need for making a caterpillar now let's check how we are going to make it follow these steps to make the caterpillar cut a strip of cups from the egg carton take a egg carton and a strip of cups you need to cut a strip of cups from that carton paint the cups green in color make two holes on the first cup fix the math sticks in the holes as shown the picture is shown there how to fix the math sticks and fourth step make two eyes with the black sketch pen the caterpillar is ready to crawl you can do this activity with the help of your parents so get ready to make a caterpillar now we have my word bank write the new words that you have learned in this story in this story what all new words you have learned you can write down in the space provided also you can maintain a separate book what all words you have learned you can write down and find out the meaning of that words so with this we finish our first chapter hope you enjoyed joe the baby caterpillar so that's all thank you